Politicians are all talk, no action. The politicians are going to destroy this country. They're weak and they're ineffective. I watch as politicians are trying to claim that, and that's okay with me. You know, they're all talk, no action, so they won't do anything anyway, just so you understand. I've watched the politicians. I've dealt with them all my life. They will never make America great again. They don't even have a chance. They're controlled fully by the lobbyists, by the donors, and by the special interests. These politicians, they run and they run and they win, and sometimes they lose and they keep running. That's all they do is run. Most of them don't know what they're doing. They just keep run. I just hate to see when people don't have common sense, don't have an understanding of what's going on, or perhaps don't want to know. Maybe it's campaign contributions, maybe it's special interests, maybe it's lobbyists. But for some reason, some people don't get it, and I don't think they'll be in office much longer. I really mean that. We have very stupid people in our country negotiating for us, and we have leaders that don't know what they're doing. I respect Mexico, but their leaders are too smart for our leaders, because we have stupid leaders, okay? You know, free trade, I believe in it. Totally. I'm a free trader. The problem with free trade is you need smart people on our side. When you don't have smart people, free trade is not a good thing. Free trade can be wonderful if you have smart people. But we have people that are stupid. We have people that aren't smart. And we have people that are controlled by special interests. And it's just not going to work. You can win against China if you're smart. But our people don't have a clue. We give state dinners to the heads of China. I say, why are you doing state dinners for them? They're ripping us left and right. Just take them to McDonald's and go back to the negotiating table. Seriously. Somebody's doing a bad job. It's corruption. It's massive corruption. It's massive incompetence. And the people are really being treated like third class right, citizens. We have incompetent politicians, not only the president. Obama would get creamed if he ran again. I call Obama the five-for-one president. We get Bergdahl, they get five guys that they dream of, okay? We get a traitor, a no-good, rotten traitor like Bergdahl, and they get five killers that they most wanted in the whole world who are right now back on the battlefield trying to kill everybody, including us. Our president doesn't have a clue. He's a bad negotiator. I think they made a mistake, but not with Obama, because he's weak and he's ineffective, and he's not respected. When President Obama was elected, I said, well, the one thing I think he'll do well, I think he'll be a great cheerleader for the country. He's not a leader, that's true. You're right about that. But he wasn't a cheerleader. He's actually a negative force. He's been a negative force. You have this guy, Lindsey Graham, a total lightweight. Here's a guy in the private sector, he couldn't get a job, believe me. Lindsey Graham, your senator, what a stiff, what a stiff. By the way, he's registered zero in the poll, zero. I couldn't care less about Lindsey Graham. He's registered at, I think, zero in the poll. I don't know if it's the right number. Let's try it, 202, 228, 0292. I don't know, maybe it's, you know, it's three, four years ago, so maybe it's an old number. 202-228-0292. So, I don't know, give it a shot. Your local politician, you know? He won't fix anything, but at least he'll talk to you. He actually probably seems to me not as bright, honestly, as Rick Perry. I think Rick Perry probably is smarter than Lindsey Graham, but what do I know? I see uh, Rick Perry the other day. He put glasses on so people will think he's smart. And it's, it just doesn't work. You know, people can see through the glasses. Yeah, but Rick Perry, honestly, I don't think he even understands what it means. I tweeted that Rick Perry should have to have an IQ test before getting on the debate stage. I think Rick Perry did a terrible job as the governor of Texas where he the border security was terrible. Hillary Clinton was the worst Secretary of State in the history of the United States. Hillary 
was the worst. Hillary Clinton's going to be a horrible president. I think Hillary would be a terrible president. She was the worst secretary of state in the history of our nation. Why would she be a good president? I think she'd be a terrible president. Rubio, he was unable to answer the question, is Iraq a good thing or a bad thing? He didn't know. He couldn't answer the question. How are these people going to lead us? How are we going to how are we going to go back and make it great again? We can't. They don't have a clue. Jeb Bush, let's say he's president. Oh yeah, yeah. The last thing this country needs is another Bush. We've had it with the Bushes. You look at somebody like Jeb Bush. It took him five days, five days to give a proper answer on Iraq. He was changing his answer every day. How is somebody like that going to negotiate? The poll just came out, and I'm tied with Jeb Bush. And I said, oh, that's too bad. How can I be tied with this guy? He's terrible. He's terrible. <laughs> Bush is totally in favor of Common Core. I don't see how he can possibly get the nomination. He's weak on immigration. He's in favor of Common Core. How the hell can you vote for this guy? You just can't do it. I'm not a fan of Jeb Bush, because Jeb Bush is in favor of Common Core, and he's weak on immigration. Those are two bad things. Jeb Bush will never take us to the promised land. He doesn't have it. I supported him. He lost. He let us down. But, you know, he lost. So I never liked him as much after that, because I don't like losers. And he's the guy. I mean, he's supposed to be doing it. And I see him on television all the time, and he's always talking, talking, but nothing gets done. He's a war Five hero. And a half years he's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Do you he's agree with that? He's a war hero because he was captured. Sixty, seventy percent of the political media is really, really dishonest. Because the press are liars. They're terrible people. They're terrible people. The press is very, very dishonest. And I think people are wise to the press. Because those people Many of them, not all, some are great, but many of them are very dishonest people, meaning the press. Very dishonest. Very dishonest. The people don't trust you, and the people don't trust the media. Right? That there are, uh, for immigrants on the whole, create, or create. Come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. Try getting it out. Go ahead. Reverend Al is a con man. You know. Tells people I'm going to pick at you if you don't give. I mean, this guy is a con man. How stupid are our leaders? How stupid are these politicians to allow this to happen? Stay in the race, just stop being a jackass. I don't think he represents the Republican Party, and his, uh, his views are way out of the mainstream of what Republicans think. Donald Trump doesn't represent the Republican Party. I think his uh, remarks were offensive. As an individual who has worn the uniform of this country, I was highly offended what Donald Trump said about John McCain. I think the comments he's made has allowed people that don't want to have a debate or talk about illegal immigration to distract from the very serious debate on hand. To make these extraordinarily ugly kind of comments is not reflective of the Republican Party. Trump is wrong on this. Donald Trump owes every American veteran, and in particular John McCain, an apology. The American people deserve better. Certainly presidential debates deserve better. I have just one word for Mr. Trump. Basta. Enough!